Well, throughout the day, police have released more information on the shooter to say that he appeared to not have any connections to MSU. Both family and people who knew the suspect, 43-year-old Anthony McRae, say he had a troubled history. Josh Sanchez heard from one man who says McRae's attitude had been turning dark over the past few years. Josh? Sherry Siobhan, a Lancy man, tells me that Anthony McRae, the alleged suspect in the MSU shooting, had changed over the years as and was not the same man he knew back in 2018. He says his conversations with McRae started to have fantasy started to turn into fantasies about other mass shootings. Michigan State University icons like the rock and the Sparty statue have become makeshift memorials as many in the Spartan community look for answers to Monday's violence. The family of alleged shooter 43 year old Anthony McCree is also asking questions. His uncle Timothy McCree when speaking to our sister station in Grand Rapids says more could have been done by police after a 2019 arrest that involved McCree illegally carrying a concealed weapon. I would rather see him incarcerated and alive and these three other people alive than to have everybody dead because somewhere he slipped through the cracks of gun law. McCree's uncle also says his nephew had a history of diagnosed mental illness, but getting the proper help for him became a challenge. The families always tried to get him help, and when we try, we, when we try to get him help, he would disappear. Carl Tilking, a leader of a Lansing neighborhood watch group, says he first met McCree in 2018. He says McCree was a reliable contact, submitting tips to the group about what was happening in the community. But he also remembered McCree as someone who kept to himself. The lone, the lone wolf kind of mentality. You know, I'm going to do for myself. I'm going to be independent. No one's going to, I don't need anyone else's help because, you know, I can do things on my own. Appreciate it. No thanks. <laughs> King says the last time he spoke with McCree about three to four weeks ago, he talked about getting into a fight with some MSU students. Teal King says he's still in shock over the mass shooting that killed three students and injured several others. Tony was just someone who should have been given a little extra care. Now, Teal King says he never felt the need to, uh, felt it was never his place to ask McCree if he was armed during the times they met and talked, but police mentioned finding a gun at the scene and that McCree took his own life after a caller told police about his whereabouts.